Good afternoon, my name is Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 15910 Southwest Queen Victoria here in King City, Oregon. We're located on the rooftop where there is a three inch copper vent. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We have water currently running. Just going to clean the lens off real quick and we'll get going here. Okay, here at 32 feet out, it transitions. It did transition to uh, cast iron. I'll find that transition on the way back. Uh, but transitioning here at 32 feet, uh, it looks like it looks like six-inch concrete here, and we do have root intrusion through the transitional joint. Okay, I'm going to get the water turned off, let it drain out. It feels like I'm hitting a blockage here. It looks like we have a big root intrusion. Okay, that water is now drained out. You can see here <clears throat> there's a root intrusion. It's blocking pretty much the entire sewer line. And it's pinched down far enough that my camera's having a really tough time uh, making it through there. And you can see why my camera's kind of had to bore a little tunnel through there. That will need to be cleaned out. I would recommend it be uh, jetted or augered out of the way so that a rescope can be performed uh, to assess the rest of the line. But right now I can't get my camera to go any further. Uh, so I will locate, I'll locate at the uh, transition here. There's root intrusion right at that, as well as beyond that a little ways. And more than likely, we've got roots at uh, this point. They're probably throughout a lot of the uh, rest of the sewer line. But I will mark here at the transition to cast irons. That's very often where the repair guys like to start. I'll mark this with a green T, and I'll mention the depth and location in a moment. Okay, I did uh, locate the camera head here at the cast iron transition. Uh, it's actually located on the right side of the home. If you're looking at the face of the house from the street, it's on the right side. It's marked with a uh, green T, and it's at 1 feet 10 inches deep, so very shallow. Um, and the way that the line's running, the direction it's going, uh, I would not be surprised if a lot more of it had, uh, some, there's, there's probably root intrusion throughout a lot of it, just based on where the line's running through a lot of uh, landscaped uh, part of the property, lots of bushes and things like that. Usually when you've got a couple root intrusions like this, they uh, persist beyond this point. So it's going to need to be uh, cleaned out, augered or jetted, uh, and then a, uh, a lot of times the uh, drain cleaning companies can come in after that, after they clean it and scope it, the rest of it and see what the condition is. I would not be surprised to see if uh, a, a good portion of the line needs to be replaced or sleeved, uh, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and pull back the camera.